This is number 217. We have the, an expression. They're all in halves, quarters, and sixteenths with negative exponents. Our job is to simplify it so that they're all base one half. So it looks more like one of these answer choices. So basically, you want something that looks like this. One half to the third power times one half to some power and then times one half to some power. So this one fourth has to become one half to something power. So this one fourth is basically one half squared, right? And then of course you have the minus two there. This one sixteenth is basically one half to the fourth power, and then we still have the uh, minus one power. So if we combine this first term, this second term, and this third term, we basically have one half to the minus three. Remember, we keep the base at the exponents. So minus three, and then two times minus two is minus four. Four times minus one is minus four. So that's basically one half to the minus eleventh power. So that's answer choice B. So the answer here is answer B. So in terms of concepts, you should know that whatever is inside the parentheses, you can break that down even further. So if you had in the parentheses a, a one and a one fourth, you can break that down into one half squared, right? So and then whatever exponent this one had originally. So if this originally had the uh, minus two in there, well then you would simply raise everything here to the minus two power. And then you should know that in this case when you have exponents to the exponent, you just multiply these exponents together. So you're basically getting one, one half to the minus four power. So these are properties that you should know. And then when you're combining them, when you have a common base where you have a one half to some power, one half to some uh, one half to some other power and then one half to some other power you can combine the base so keep the base and then add the exponents so in this case you have the minus three adding a negative four and then adding an, an, another negative four so that gets us to one half to the eleventh power and that's why you get b as your answer so as a recap we initially saw this and we noticed that all fractions had factors of 2 and they were basically powers of 2 and you know this is 1 half squared and this is one, uh, 1 half to the fourth power so they're all multiples or powers of 2 and so you know already there's a way to simplify them by by keeping the same base then you look at the answer choice and you realize oh well a lot of them have base 1 half maybe I should just try to factor out a, one, a, one, a base 1 half and and mix in all the exponents and it turns out you can do that when you mix in all the exponents you keep the base you add the exponents you simplify it like this turns out the exponents add up to negative uh, 11 and the base is one half so that's why B is your final answer <laughs>